At Novell, we believe that collaboration software should be powerful and intuitive. And with each new release, GroupWise provides fresh features to improve your experience. In this GroupWise 2014 What's New video, I'm going to demonstrate the Options slide-out, a context-sensitive menu that keeps your view clear while putting many useful options at your fingertips. The Options slide-out has been integrated into all three of the primary GroupWise item views. This means that whether you're reading an item, composing a new item, or replying to an item that you've received, the Options slide-out only provides options that are applicable to the item view that you're in. I'll briefly describe the features available in the Options slide-out in each view. First, the Read view. Longtime GroupWise users will notice that all of these views have been greatly simplified. In previous versions of GroupWise, your item view options were spread across the view in the forms of buttons and icons. In GroupWise 2014, the interface is cleaner and simpler. This clean look can, in many ways, be attributed to the option slide-out, which can be shown or hidden by clicking this tab. Item personalization options have been moved here, allowing you to add personal notes, attach a contact for reference, and add a category to assist with organization. The last option allows you to change the item into a different item type. Next, I'll go over the Compose view. Like in the Read view, the interface has been streamlined, and some features and options have been moved to the Options slide-out. Because the Compose view is different from the Read view, the contents of the slide-out are customized to reflect that. In a Compose view, you're given formatting options for creating and editing signatures, changing the item type, and spell checking your message. In addition, you also have settings for showing or hiding the from, cc, and bc fields. The Compose and Reply views have many options in common since composing new items and replying to received ones require similar tools. Unlike in the other views, the option slide-out for the reply view is automatically displayed when you reply to an item in your mailbox. You can change this behavior by changing this setting in the option slide-out. Many of the slide-out options in the reply view are similar to those in the read and compose views, but there are a few that are specific to replying. The Reply setting lets you choose who to include in the To list, whether it's only the sender or the entire group. After you've made this selection, you can choose to give context to the conversation by including the original message and any attachments that came with the original message. If you want to forward the message, you can do so by selecting the appropriate option. Another option that's unique to the Reply view is the ability to choose your Reply format. GroupWise Classic adds Reply formatting that longtime users will remember, and including headers adds more information about the exchange for you and your recipients. The HTML Enhanced view gives you the most options, allowing you to choose what pieces of information will be included in the first line of your reply, and even whether you want to reply at the top or bottom of the discussion thread. And because message replies are structured in GroupWise 2014, each user's mailbox reformats all received items so that everyone sees exactly what they want in exactly the way they want it. Options are great, and the new Options slide-out in GroupWise 2014 offers a clean, clear view that gives you the opportunity to choose Read, Compose, and Reply options that suit your needs. To learn more about Novell GroupWise, please visit novell.com slash documentation. Thanks for watching.